We are mere 12. We are here to reveal the truth. Truth that has been hidden from you, hidden from us, and hidden from history. Last year, the UN used satellite technology to pinpoint radiation levels in order to study global warming. What was uncovered was much more alarming. On June 9th, the radiation levels at pinpoint 56 degrees 15 minutes north, 168 degrees 20 minutes east were at a below traceable level. Yet, over the next 48 hours, radiation spiked beyond anything recorded during the Chernobyl disaster. By June 11th, the levels had again mysteriously disappeared. Consistent with Russia's pattern of denial, they claim there is nothing more here than a 60-year-old weather research facility. That is a lie. In the midst of our research, a package was anonymously sent to Mir-12 containing a 1950 World Atlas and several classified aerial photographs showing something more than a simple weather station. What's most puzzling is why this island has been removed from all maps and atlases since 1950. One person who could answer that question might have been this man, Peyton Taylor, who in 1995 wrote a book called The Katorga 12 Conspiracy. Unfortunately, three weeks prior to the book's release, the author was killed in a hit-and-run accident. In the days following Taylor's death, the publishing rights were purchased by an unnamed buyer, and the book was never seen again. That is until June 19, 2007, when a copy appeared on an online auction website. 24 hours later, the auction was removed and the seller was immediately banned from the site. His name was Adam Scotts. Three weeks later, Mr. Scott's body washed up on the Windsor shore of the Detroit River. He had been shot once in the head, execution style. When the police went to his home, they found the door had been forced and the house had been ransacked. Of the evidence collected at the scene, one item in particular was tagged as being of special concern. Mir 12 obtained a copy of this video and found something very interesting. Backpacking trip in Russia, and um, I mean, it's been tough, so... Hey, John! Is the water too cold for you? It's my ass, still warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're at the beautiful beach of Anekatsi. You see what it says. Johnny, I can't even believe we made it this far, dude. Gil, Gil, get over here now! Chill out, I'm coming. <laughs> Give me a second. Dude, would well, you look? What? No doubt the police were concerned with this grisly find. What they failed to see in the tape, however, may be the key to why Adam Scotts was murdered. We gotta get the hell out of here! In case you missed it, let's compare two moments from the video. What? Do you see the difference? How can an island be there one moment and then gone the next? There is something being kept secret at this remote location off the Siberian coast. Someone has been killing U.S. citizens in order to protect that secret. Was something built there that the Russians can no longer control? There is more to this story. We will tell the world. We will break the silence. We are here 12.